Hello, you guys. The time is finally here. I have been looking at these posh boxes sitting in my living room for hours now, and it has been killing me. Um, I cut the top of the boxes open, and I was so tempted to peek, but I didn't. Um, I wanted to save my true first impressions for this video. Um, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, most of it is the winter products. Um, I did also get um, all the stuff from the $10 sale that um, was going on. So there's some stuff for other people in there, um, and there's also some stuff that I got that I was just going to pull out of the box and show you quick. I'm not going to talk about it because I've already talked about a lot of this stuff. Um, but all the winter stuff I'm going to show you. I'm going to try some of it on my face, um, on my skin, um, talk about the scents, everything. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. Hi, Mindy. Um, I hope... I hope a bunch of you can come on and watch with me. Hi, Judith. Um, okay, so I got this whole little setup going here because um, there are some like makeup-y kind of products. So I brought um, all the stuff so I can put those on my face for you guys. Um, but I'm probably gonna do those last. So um, the first box, I got two giant boxes this size, like these are huge boxes, <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi Bethany. Alright, so like I said, I cut the tops of the boxes open, but I have not looked in the boxes yet, um, so I don't actually know if this first box is the winter stuff or the stuff from the $10 sale. I'm going to go over the stuff from the $10 sale first. Um, so if this is the winter box, I'm going to go to the other one. Um, so, oh, packing slip. Oh, good. Okay. This box is the stuff from the $10 sale. Hi, April. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited you guys are here. Ooh. Oh, man. It's probably really loud. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Made it. Okay. So, like I said, this is all the stuff from the $10 sale that was going on um, last week. Well, yeah, the last week of September. Um, so, like I said, there's some stuff for other people in here, and then there's some stuff for me. Um, and then I also got some lip colors for free with my perks so I in total um, with the ones I got with my perks and the two new ones with the winter collection I got six new colors um, so I'm gonna swatch all of those for you guys so you can see them because the product pictures online do not do them justice whatsoever um, but I'm gonna do those last so I'm gonna save those oh my goodness um, so here, wait, there's one more somewhere. So, wait, five. Oh, I got seven lip colors. I can't even count. Um, so I got Leave Me Alone, which is a really, really pretty, like, glittery, sparkly, um, copper orange color. Um, and this one was one that I was a little iffy about because obviously I'm a ginger. Um, so oranges are really hard for me to pull off sometimes. Um, hey Teresa. Um, so I, but I thought I would give that one a try. Um, I got Don't Be Cordial, which is like a cher like a cherryish red, from what I can tell. Um, I got a second Amazing Space. So this one I already have, and I've shown you guys. Um, but I got a backup because this one's limited time and I wanted a backup one. Um, I got Truth or Dare, which is more of a true red. And I got Love the Wine, You're With, um, which is obviously a, a wine color. So those are the first five. And then the other two are with the winter stuff. Um, and that's Pillow Fight and Marked Urgent, a plum and a nude. So I will swatch those later for you guys. So I'm going to set those aside for now. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. Um, I have two things for 
for Miss Lavon. So she got the Bear It All um, tonic cleansing water. Um, so this, where did I put those? Oh. Um, so this, this is one option, and then they also have the same product in wipe form. Um, so I have the wipes, and I love them. Um, this, it smells exactly the same. Um, it's just a preference of which one you would prefer. Um, so both of these are alcohol-free, which is really nice. Um, they don't irritate your skin when you're taking your makeup off. So I really, really like those. Um, and then she also got the Hard Day's Night Body Butter. This one has hemp oil in it. Um, it's for like extra, extra dry skin. So, and actually, there's a second one in here that is going to my mom. Um, and I'm actually going to open that one up just so I can smell it. Um, just because I have not personally smelled that one. Oh, it smells really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think. This reminds me of a scent at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I always equate everything to Bath and Body Works scents because I worked there for almost two years. Um, oh, God, that's going to bug me. It smells like something at Bath and Body Works. Um, but this one smells like fig, pineapple, magnolia, and a hint of sandalwood. It smells really good. I thought the sandalwood would be stronger, um, but it's a little sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Um, so there is that, and I'm going to set that one aside so I know that one's going to my mom because I knew she wouldn't mind if I popped it open. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Um, there's a few items for a couple of my coworkers. Um, so one of my coworkers, Debbie, got a few things, and I got these as well, so I will show you those in a second. Um, let's see here. My coworker Martine got a couple of things, hot and gold and impish eyes, the under eye serum. Also, sorry, I'm, my nose has been like really like sniffly and weird today. Hi, Judy. Um, so if I keep like doing that, <laughs> it's because my nose is all like sniffly today. So, um, okay, so the rest of the stuff in here is mine. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys, because I am blown away by this just by looking at it, um, is the Just Chillin' Giant Cooling Skin Stick. Um, so this one kind of works like the icy part of Icy Hot. And like, look at how freaking big this thing is. I was not expecting this to be this big. Like, I knew it was bigger than the regular skin sticks. Um, actually, I have my perk stick right here. So this is a regular size skin stick. Oh my gosh, this is so much bigger than I was expecting. Um, so, like I said, this works like the icy part of Icy Hot. Um, you can use this for headaches, you can use this for sore muscles, you can use this. Um, you can use this if you have like swelling, um, it, it helps reduce inflammation. Um, it has peppermint in it. Oh, so this one screws off. The regular skin sticks tops just pop off like a chapstick top. This one actually screws off, and there it is. It smells really, really similar to the Perk skin stick, actually. Those smell pretty much identical. Um, so if you've used the Perk stick before and you love that, you would really like this, because um, with this, you can cover more area. So. Awesome. I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, so there is that. Um, I got myself a new lip balm. I got myself a bag of the Bubble Up Bubble Bath Powder. Um, so this is sulfate-free bubble bath. So this is good for adults and kids. I haven't taken a bubble bath in forever, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so that is what that looks like. I got the Serves You Bright uh, Vitamin C Loaded Face Cream. And that one comes in a little jar. Oh, I'm like trying to rip this open and there's a sticker. Fail.
There we go. So this comes, whew, this comes in a little jar. Sorry if it's really bright. I have a lamp like literally right behind my laptop because I wanted good light for when I try the makeup stuff later. So sorry if it's really, really obnoxiously bright. Um, anyways, this is the Serves You Bright Vitamin C Face Cream. Ooh, that smells really good. What does that smell like? Carrot seed, carrot root, and citrus. So I'm assuming I'm just smelling the citrus. I like that. And it's in a really, really nice um, glass container, which I like. So there is that. There's so much stuff. I'm... It might take me a second to keep this organized. So bear with me, you guys. I'm just like, I'm so like, ah, I'm so excited. Um, and then I got three different face masks for myself. Um, I got Envy This, which is a tightening and brightening face mask. Um, it's got green tea and caffeine in it. Um, so pretty excited to try that one. Um, I haven't tried any of these masks before. Um, I got Pearlfectionist, which is an exfoliating face mask. Um, it's got pearl powder. Um, it helps stimulate collagen production. Um, it helps brighten uh, and gently exfoliates. So that one. And then I also got Pineapple Pick Me Up, which is one that I've been wanting to try for a long time. This one's really cool because it's a gentle chemical exfoliation. Um, and when I say chemical exfoliation, I don't actually mean chemicals. Um, I just mean that it doesn't exfoliate with like scrubbing. Um, it exfoliates using fruit enzymes. So those are going to take that dry skin off without having to scrub. So, and it's, it's pretty gentle from what I hear. Hey, Carmen. Hey, LaVon. Hey, Kaylee. Welcome. I'm just going through all this stuff from the $10 sale. Um, that I that was going on that came for everybody and actually um, whew, Levon I've got your two things right here so those will be going out to you very very soon um, also congratulations to Levon she won my giveaway for um, getting me up to pink status which also thank you guys so so much um, I did rank up the last day of the month, and it just became official today. So as of today, I'm officially pink. Um, I've got um, my higher commission now, and I also get instant commissions now. So when you guys place an order on my website, I get paid within three hours, which is super, super cool. Um, and, I, like, I'm so blown away. Um, at the support I've gotten from you guys. Like, it's incredible to me, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So, congratulations, LaVon, and um, I got your list of stuff, and I will be getting your prize ordered soon. So, just tried that today. I'm excited to try everything. Like, honestly, it's going to take me a long time to try all this stuff. I mean, I'm going to try some of it today, um, but it's going to take me a while to, like, fully try everything. So, um, that is everything from the $10 sale box. So let me just get this back in here. Okay, so, oh, and then I also did get a sample. Um, right now they're sending out samples of the Hips Don't Lie body cream. So that helps with cellulite. So. And I tried a sample of that the other day, and it smells really good. It smells like dragon fruit with a little bit of lime, um, but just a little bit. So, okay. I wanted to kind of go through that box kind of quickly. So, because we're all here for the winter products. That is the main attraction today. Um, like I said, I am going to come back to the vials and do swatches of those on my mouth for you guys. So... Um, ooh. I'm going to have the paper from inside these boxes literally all over my living room. Hips don't lie lighten my baby belly stretch marks. I have heard that, that it's good for um, scars and stretch marks too. 
Okay, second box. Um, so this box is all of the winter products. This one I'm gonna go a little more in depth with each product um, and just give you a little bit more info about what it is, what it does, because um, they really, really did some cool things with these products and there are some brand, brand new products that they've never made before. Um, so I'm really, really excited to talk to you guys about those. So, and I've got my phone with the product pages so that I can not just spew random info out of my mouth. <laughs> um, so, got this, got it all ready to talk about stuff. Oh man, this, this box smells so good. All right, so there's another Hips Don't Lie sample. So I've got a couple of those now, if anybody wants to try that. Okay. Oh man, where to start? I'm so excited. Hi, Amanda. All right, so, um, okay, so here's the two vials. Um, so there's Marked Urgent, which is a plum, and Pillow Fight is a nude. So I'm going to add that to my pile of vials over here, and I will swatch those at the end of the video. So, um, let's see here. I'm going to do those in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. This one, oops. This one is Jingle Balls, um, which I think is so cute. Um, this is the Bath Bomb 3-pack. So there's three different scents in here. Um, there is... Um, I'm trying to think of the names of them. I can't think of the names of them. Um, but one of them is called Bellini, um, and it smells like peaches and apricots something like that um i know it's peach something hi lisa um one of them smells like sugar plum and the other one smells like pina colada which kind of threw me off at first because when i think of winter and christmas i don't think of pina coladas um but they have an explanation for it and i can't remember what it is I'm trying to get the sticker off this box and it is not being friendly to me right now Come on. Ha, ah, got it. All right, so three bath bombs. Um, so this one, oh yeah, that's pina colada. That smells really good. Um, and then, I can't actually tell which, oh. Nope, that one's Bellini. So that one's like a like a rosy pink color. And then the sugar plum one is a really pretty purple color. And I was told that these or these two um, give really, really nice color in the tub. So obviously the white one's not gonna give you a ton of color, but the other two give you really, really nice color. So that is Jingle Balls. So this one is $14 for the three of them. So that is the first thing. Um, let's see here. What else is in here? There is, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. There is a new foot mask. Um, so this one is called Soul Sister. Um, this one is a charcoal detox and cooling clay foot mask with tea tree oil and peppermint essential oil. So this one, just based on the description, sounds like the cackle spackle mask for your feet. That's just the vibe I'm getting from this one. Um, so this one, like I said, is for your feet. Um, let's see. Charcoal, kaolin, and ben bentonite clay work to dry out work. <sighs> can't talk. It's too excited. can't talk. Um, work to draw out deep down dirt and toxins from your tootsies while tea tree and peppermint essential oils tingle, cool, and tame tiredness. Slather feet and ankles in this goodness, massaging into tops, toes, heels, and soles, and then relax while it dries. Um, and then you're supposed to massage it in when you're rinsing it off because it has pumice in it, so it'll help exfoliate too. Um, 
So I'm just going to squirt a little tiny bit of this out so I can smell it and show you guys. Oh, that even looks like cackle spackle. Mmm, it smells really good. So, so that is what it looks like. I can definitely feel the pumice in it for the exfoliating. Um, it smells like peppermint. Um, so it, it does, it smells a little bit different than cackle spackle because cackle spackle is spearmint. Um, but it's very similar. So, and I did bring a wet washcloth out here because I knew I was going to be rubbing this stuff all over myself today. So, that is Soul Sister. Um, so, like I said, that one is a foot mask. And this one, I have to look at how much that one is. Hold on. Soul Sister is 15. So... That is that one. Okay, next we have Tis the Season to be Freezin. Um, and actually there's two products with the same name. Um, so these are both called Tis the Season to be Freezin. Um, one is a body polish and the other is a big fat yummy hand cream. Um, so I will come back to the hand cream. But this is the body polish. Um, this one, this one is a body scrub that lathers. Um, so this one says lather up and scrub for snugly soft skin with this unique, gently exfoliating body, body polish. Um, let's see, it's going to put a barrier on your skin to help keep out um, like winter irritants. Um, it's going to increase moisturization, promote brightness. And then it's got vitamin C in it to brighten and smooth skin surface. Um, so this one, and then the scent, it says a, a kiss of cool candy cane, vanilla, and a hint of white winter musk. So, ooh, it's like, it's like sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely got like a glittery look to it. Um, but I, I would assume the glitter doesn't, like, stay on your skin or anything. Okay, so this one, definitely a very, very light exfoliation. Um, it's not it's it's not as rough as, like, a Snarky Bar or, like, PJs all day. Um, very light exfoliation. It kind of reminds me of the BFF face wash, like, the amount of exfoliation that's in BFF. Oh, it smells really good. I was a little worried that the musk would be too much, but like, it almost smells like, mm, it smells like hot chocolate if you put peppermint in it. It smells super good. Yes, I'm still live, Chrissy. Hello. Mm, oh, I've got it on my nose. Um, oh my gosh. I just want to sniff this all day. <laughs> this smells really good. Um, but yeah, it, it almost smells like hot chocolate if you put peppermint in it. So, and yeah, there's definitely like sparkles in it. Um, but I just like washed it off my fingers and there's no like glitter left on my fingers. So it's not going to like leave your body looking like you just came out of the 90s with all the body glitter. So... <laughs> Um, so anyway, that is just the season to be freezing body polish. That one is, can't read, that one is 16. So, and all of these are eligible for buy five, get one free, which is really, really cool. So there's no live button, but it wouldn't let me start the video. Oh, well, I'm definitely live. <laughs> Hello. All right. Uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to like keep myself organized here and it's a struggle. Okay, so I'm just going to open up this big fat yummy hand cream while I'm on the subject of tis the season to be freezing. Um, the description of the scent is the same as the body polish. That it's going to smell the same. 
I hope it does because that smells really freaking good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. Oh, it smells exactly the same. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. I put it on my arms so that I can put, there's so many different scents I'm gonna be putting all over myself. I need like different spots to put it. Yeah, so the hand cream smells just like the body polish. It smells really, really good. It's really sweet. Um, if you don't like sweet scents um, or minty scents, I would not recommend that one for you. But if you're all about the minty and sweet, then you will love these. So it smells, I was just saying, it almost smells like if you made hot chocolate and put a candy cane in it. Like, it's so good. Um, or like, or like s'mores with peppermint in it. It's really, really good. <laughs> That's the only way I can think to describe it. Um, but yeah, both the body polish and the hand cream smell amazing. So, and like, if you guys haven't used these Big Fat Yummy hand creams before, these are amazing. Um, they're made with apricot kernel oil, so they're super, super moisturizing without getting that like nasty, greasy feeling. Like, I've used lotions before, and then I would try to like open a doorknob, and my hand would just slip on the doorknob, and the, I hate that. Like, that's like nails on a chalkboard for me, um, like feeling wise. And these don't do that. I love them. They're perfect size to keep in your purse. They're three ounces, so they are TSA approved to go on an airplane. So if you just want to throw one in a carry-on bag or your purse, these can go on an airplane, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, s'mores and peppermint. So I'm all about that. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see. Next is a body cream. Um, this one is called Young Love. Um, this one smells like tangerine and plum. Um, so this one, Mega Moisture Body Cream. Um, it says we use four types of sodium hyaluronate. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Um, hyaluronate um, to draw moisture into all layers of your skin, helping it to look more hydrated, healthy, and younger instantly. Um, it says apply generously after showering when skin is warm and open, then apply as often as needed to infuse skin with lasting hydration. So it sounds like this one is like like it says, mega moisture. So like if you have areas on your body that like need super hydration, this is going to be really good. Um, and it's also going to make a barrier to like hold that hydration in. Um, so let me pop this one open. Tangerine and plum. Ooh. This one... Oh, that smells amazing. It's like equal parts tangerine and plum. Like it's not overly citrusy and it's not overly plummy. Mmm. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to think of something to like compare this to and I'm blanking, but it smells amazing. If you like fruity scents, um, or citrusy scents, you would really like this. Mm. And it feels really, really nice too. Like you can, you can like feel the hydration right after you put it on. And the body creams are really nice too because they also don't leave you feeling greasy all over. So it's not going to feel like you just walked out of a sauna or something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that is Young Love. This one is 19. Oh, and the Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams, these little guys, these are 10. I forgot to say that. So, okay, um, let's see. Next, we have another hand cream. Um, this one is a little bit different than the Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams. Hey, Kaylee, how's it going? Um, 
so this one is another hand cream, a little bit different than the Big Fat Yummies, um, but it's the same, it's a very similar formula. So this one is called Working Girl. It's in the same kind of tube as Ain't That the Youth, um, which is the unscented. I know, I wish you guys could smell through the camera too. That would make this so much easier. Um, I'm really, I'm doing my best, you guys. <laughs> so, um, so this one's called Working Girl. This is another one that's gonna help kind of build a barrier on your skin. So this one's specifically made for your hands. It's made for hands that are dry, cracked, tired, working hands. Um, and I know like, especially during the winter, my hands get really, really chapped and dry and they crack on the knuckles and it sucks because it hurts. Um, and I found very few products that actually help heal that as well as keep that moisturization and hydration. You know, it either does one thing or the other, or it only works for a really short time. Um, and that's one thing I love about Pasha's products is like, it's not just going to be a temporary fix for you. It's actually going to help over time, you know, improve that um, and keep it from happening. So, the, like I said, this one's called Working Girl. This one has a really light almond scent from what I hear, and I will test that out in a second. Um, so this one, okay, yeah, it pretty much says everything I already said. So it's made with the same thing as the Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams, the apricot kernel oil, so it's not going to make you feel greasy. Um, and with Posh products, a little bit goes a very long way because there's no fillers. Um, so like... I know when I first started buying Posh, there were a couple products I got, and I was like, mm, this is a little smaller than I expected. But when you think about it, the fillers aren't there, so there's really no need for a giant bottle. Um, you're getting the product you need. You're not getting the fillers. You're not paying for the fillers. So, um, so that's one thing I really love, is you can just use a little tiny bit and it goes a really long way. Like the Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams, I'll show you with the next one I try how little I have to use to get like that great hydration. So um, anyway, so this is Working Girl. So let me open this guy up. Whoop. Should have brought a little bag for all the little things I gotta peel off. And of course, little tiny layer stayed on. All right, there we go. So this one, whoo, put this on this side now. Okay, the scent on this one is very light, like barely noticeable. Um, so like if you're somebody who is sensitive to a lot of scents or you work somewhere where you can't have scented products, this would be a really, really good one. Um, like I said, we have Ain't That the Youth. That one is completely unscented, fragrance free. Um, but this one, this one like barely has a scent to it. Um, but it does smell really good. It's very, very light almond, just like people said. So. So that is Working Girl. This one is 13. So there's Working Girl. I love the packaging on this one. I'm a sucker for packaging, just so you guys know. So if I'm ever like, oh, the packaging's so cute, I just, I love cute packaging. So, um, all right, moving on. There's two chunks in here. So two chunk soap bars. Um, one of them is brand new this year, and the other one is one that they brought back from last year, and I'm really excited that they brought that one back because I had heard about it, and it sounded amazing, um, so I'm really, really excited that I get to try that one. So the one that they brought back from last year is called Holly Jolly. It is warm, mulled, holiday pomegranate, pine, and clove. Um, so this one... Yeah, pomegranate, pine, and clove. So I'm going to pop this one open. I don't want to rip the packaging. It's so cute. Ooh. 
And of course I ripped it. That's okay. Hey, Kaylin. Woo. Just trying to get this chunk open. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm gonna have to rip this. RIP packaging. Or not. Usually these are really easy to get out of the packaging and this one is giving me problems for some reason. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that was a struggle. Um, so that's what that one looks like. It's a really pretty, um, like, like mold, like red cranberry color. And it smells really good. Oh, I was right. I really like this one. <laughs> um, mm, I like that one a lot. Um, you can definitely smell the pine and the clove, which is that little hint of the fruity pomegranate. So, mm, it smells like... It smells like like hot cider at Christmas <laughs> um, with like a pine tree in the background. That's a really dumb description, but <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. So that is Holly Jolly. So that is that one. And then the other one is brand new this year, and it is called... You could use a hug, and I just, I love that name. It's so, so cute. Um, so this one says a Snoopy, a Snow, <sighs> Snoopy, um, a soapy snuggle with cat's claw bark and cotton extracts for cashmere soft skin. Um, so this one, let's see if I can get this one open without having to like massacre the packaging. Just kidding, I already ripped it. That's okay. So that's what that one looks like. Mmm, that one smells really good too. Um, I know, I love, the name is so cute. You could use a hug. Um, this one smells really good too. This one smells really similar to the milking it chunk, or no. Mm, this one almost smells like a combination between milking it and where you've been all my life. It's very subtle, like it's not a very strong scent. It's very neutral too. So like this is one that guys and girls would like, in my opinion. Yeah, this one's pretty subtle. Um, I like it a lot and I think Again, I'm trying to think of something to like compare this to. Um, cat's claw bark and cotton. Yeah, it's very clean, very neutral. I like this one a lot. So, it definitely smells like a hug if a hug was in soap form. And like, I was never a big soap bar kind of user. I actually really didn't like soap bars. Um, but once I started using these chunks, I am like a new believer in soap bars. <laughs> um, well, chunk bars, at least. Um, I've already gone through one, and I just started a new one the other day, and I absolutely love them. So, okay, moving on. There's two more hand creams, a face mask, and a skin stick left. And then, well, and then um, one other thing that's brand new, and then the vials. So, got a few more things left. Okay, so next I'll talk about another hand cream, um, another new hand cream. This one is called Let's Spoon. Um, this one is sponge sugar and creamy sandalwood. Oh, and like that's literally how much hand cream I use whenever I use these Big Fat Yummy hand creams, and it's more than enough 
for my hands. So you don't have to use a lot of product. Mmm, that smells really good too. This all smells amazing. This one, this one's a pretty light, kind of more neutral scent too, I would say. You can definitely smell the sandalwood, um, but like, I don't like really heavy sandalwood, and I don't mind this at all, so it's pretty light. I think the, the sugar scent is kind of mellowing it out a little bit, but this one's pretty light too, so... I don't know why I keep like showing you my hand like there's something on my hand. Sorry guys, I'm a little like cuckoo crazy today. Um, but anyways, so that is Let's Spoon. I think that one's adorable too. Um, and the packaging is really cute on that one too. So, um, so that one is 10. Um, the chunks are also 10. I forgot to mention that. And then the last hand cream is called Honeyberry. Um, and this one, from what I hear, um, it's a new name, but the scent is the same scent as a hand cream that Posh made a really long time ago called Hey Honey um, that came in like a jar. So this one is raspberry and honey, and this is the hand cream I was most excited about just based on the description. Um, I really, really liked Tis the Season to be Freezing, so we're going to see if this one beats that one out. But I don't know. People were going nuts though when they found out that this scent was coming back though. Ooh, um, that does smell really good. It actually smells really similar to Honey Honey. Honey Honey Body Cream, which is one of my favorites. And I think that's why I was so drawn to the scent description of this one because Honey Honey is honey and lemon. And this one's honey and raspberry. So. Mmm, that smells really, really good. Um, so if you've, I know I've given a bunch of people honey, honey samples. If you've tried that and you like that scent, you will, will also like this one. So this smells really similar to that. Um, speaking of honey, honey too, they updated the packaging on honey, honey, and it, it kind of looks like this, except in yellow. Um, and they updated like the shape of the tube. So Honey Honey looks a little different now, but it's the same product. They didn't change the formula. So anyways, that is Honey Berry. So that's the last of the hand creams. And then, oh, okay, uh, two more things. And then I will get to the fun like makeup type stuff. Um, the next thing is a skin stick. It's called Santa's Little Healer. Um, so this one's really cool. This one, I guess they had a while ago, um, and they brought this one back. So this one, um, I've talked a little bit about the healer skin stick before. It smells like an orange creamsicle. It's orange and vanilla. Um, so this one is basically the healer skin stick with spearmint added in. Um, so it's orange and vanilla and spearmint. Um, so you get all the same benefits of the healer skin stick, but also the added benefits of spearmint. Um, so let's see. I'm trying to think. I had a list of one point at what of what all spearmint does for you. Um, obviously, it's cooling. Um, it can help with headaches. It can help with inflammation. Um, it's just very relaxing. It's I, I love mint, peppermint, spearmint, whatever. I love it. Um, and then the healer part of it, um, that helps with dry skin, chapped lips, it helps with scabs and cuts, it helps with like patchy spots on your face, it helps with rashes, eczema, you name it. I love the healer. Um, I use, I had a really bad heat rash at one point um, on my chest, it cleared that up like instantly um, I've used it on Don he has like these little red spots he gets on his face and it helped with those um, but yeah so this is Santa's little healer mmm it smells really good we're on a roll with the scents here guys um you definitely smell the spearmint I can't 
as much as I can in the regular healer, but I definitely smell the spearmint and the vanilla. It smells really good though. Um, so that one works just like any other skin stick. You can rub it on your temples, you can rub it on your lips, anywhere, pretty much anywhere you want to use it, you can use it. So that is Santa's little healer. This one is 14. And then this one I'm super, super excited about. Everybody was super excited to hear that they were coming out with this. This one is a face mask. It is called Ice Queen. Um, it gives off very Frozen-esque vibes. Um, it is a peel-off face mask, and I'm so excited because I've never tried a peel-off mask before. And at first, we were kind of confused because for a long time, Posh has been saying that peel-off masks are not good for you and that's why none of their previous masks have been peel off they're all the kind that you put on you let it dry and you rinse it off this one they've done a ton of research into this this one is gelatin free which I guess the gelatin is what is bad for your skin it causes little micro tears when you peel it off so this one does not have that in it um, so this one is made with eucalyptus peppermint and mineral rich volcanic waters um, and from what I hear it's a really pretty icy blue color I'm just gonna put ooh, ooh, the color is really pretty um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and let it dry and then peel it off if I wasn't trying the makeup stuff, I would put it on my actual face, and I will put it on my face and do like a video of me peeling it off. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit on my hand, and it is a really, really pretty icy blue color. I hope you guys can see that. Um, so yeah, Ice Queen, very Frozen-esque to me. And April, I know you love Frozen. So, we're going to put this, we're going to put that right there. Whoo! I almost wish that was like a highlighter for my face. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that right there and let it dry, and then I'm going to try to peel it off. I don't know if it's going to work as well on my hand, but we're going to try it. So... Um, let's see. Um, so this one, I was just trying to read about like what the benefits of this one are. Let's see. So it's going to help remove dry, dead skin. Um, the minerals from the volcanic water are going to help purify your face. Eucalyptus and peppermint help open pores to rejuvenate complexion. Cool. So this one's really easy. You just put it on. Um, if you want like if you want it to peel off easier you have to put it on a little thicker you can't put it on like super thin um, and then let it dry peel it off and then um, just take like a washcloth and wipe off any little excess pieces that are still on your face so also I hope there haven't been any other comments because Facebook is not updating very well for me um, Somebody should post a comment and see if they're still working for me, because <laughs> I can't tell. Um, all right, so that is Ice Queen. Um, I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit, and then I will peel it off in just a minute here. I'm, I'm just, I'm so antsy. Um, okay, so the last product from the Winter Collection um, is a brand brand new product okay there's comments hi Levon thank you um okay so the last one is a brand brand new product to posh um, this is called glare it is a liquid shimmer eyeshadow so there's two of them there is be so gold and silver screen so gold and silver um, and I have used liquid eyeshadows before, and I've really, I've had some really good experiences with some, and some really 
crappy experiences with some. So, but from the pictures I've seen of these, I am hopeful that I'm going to love these. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one on each eye. So my eyes are going to look a little crazy, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to use the silver on one eye and the gold on another. So this is what they look like. Very sparkly, very pretty. Um, open this up here. So it has like a, like a doe foot applicator in here. Doesn't have a scent to it, which, I mean, there's not really a point to having scent to an eyeshadow. So that works for me. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of each one just on my eye by itself. I'm going to put a couple layers so you can see, you know, you can put on just one layer for a really, really subtle look. You can layer it on to get more of a dramatic effect. And then I actually did bring an eyeshadow palette out here. So then um, over top of it, I'm going to put a darker eyeshadow and then I'm going to put a little bit on top of it to show you kind of what you can do with it. Um, Okay, so let me just put a little bit of each one down by themselves first. I brought my mirror out here so I didn't have to try to use Facebook as a mirror. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh, oh, it's very sparkly. It's probably a little harder to see on Facebook. So that's just one very thin layer. So very subtle look if you want it to be. I know not everybody is a big makeup user, but if you just want a little something something, that's really, really cute. So I'm going to put the gold on the other side while that one dries, and then I'll do a second layer. here. Ooh, the gold seems even more bright. Either that or it just got more on the wand and didn't realize it. So what you can do with liquid eyeshadows is you can kind of like use your finger to blend it out. I really like the gold. The gold seems more noticeable to me than the silver, just by itself. I mean, maybe I just put more of the gold on and didn't realize it. Um, yeah, my eyes don't look too crazy right now. Um, but yeah, that one's really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. Okay, so that one's dry. I like that they dry fast because I've had some that took forever to dry and it was really obnoxious. So I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat down. Yeah, the silver is definitely more sheer um, than the gold because I feel like two coats of the silver is still more sheer than one coat of the gold. I mean, you can definitely still notice it. I mean, you can still see it. Um, so if you're wanting something really, really subtle, just this by itself would be nice. And then I'm gonna just, just for fun, I'm going to do a second coat of the gold to see what it looks like. So yeah, I'm just kind of dabbing this all over my eyelid and then using my finger to blend it out at the top into the crease. Yeah, I really, really like the gold. I don't dislike the silver. It's just a lot more sheer for me, and I'm not, 
I like my, like if I'm going to wear eyeshadow and stuff, I really like it to pop and be noticeable. So that's just my personal preference. Um, but if you like something a little more subtle, the silver. Um, okay, so that's what they look like by themselves. It's a little hard to see, so I'll put them on again by themselves at some point and take a picture in better lighting. I know the lighting isn't the greatest for this, but it's what I got to work with. So, um, all right, my mask is still drying. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this off. That's why I brought my wipes out here. And I'm going to go ahead and put some regular eyeshadow down in a darker color and then put these on top. Ooh, I'm going to try to do this without getting my mascara everywhere. If I can at least get most of it off. That'll be good enough for me. I'm probably going to get a little bit of my foundation <laughs> off too. Oh, yeah, I was right. My eyes are looking crazy now. That's okay. You guys know what I'm doing, so I don't think anyone's going to judge me. So it's okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead. I just brought one of my eyeshadow palettes out here. This is one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to go ahead and do a really, really quick eye look for you guys. Do you guys know you were getting a makeup tutorial along with this too? I used to do makeup tutorials on Facebook. Some of you probably remember them. I haven't done one in a really, really long time. Okay, so I'm just putting a light shadow down first as a base, and then I'm going to put my darker colors down. So I'm going to stick kind of a tannish color in the crease. And I only brought one brush out here, so this is not the brush I usually use for my entire eye, but I'm just going to throw this quick and dirty eye look together for you. Um, all right, so I've got tan color in the crease, and then I'm just going to throw a dark color all over my lid. Um, this might look a little, little rough, but, you know, whatever works, right? Um, I think I'm just going to go with, I'm going to do like a reddish brown. This is not good lighting to do my makeup. That's okay. That is all right. Hi, Amanda. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the gold side. And I think for the silver side... I think the silver side, I'm just going to put a really thick layer of a light color down because I don't think brown and silver are going to look that good together. So I'm going to put a really light color down as a base for the silver and see if that helps um, make it really pop. Okay. So... All right, now is when my eyes are really going to look crazy because now I got this going on. Um, and this is how it's going to look for the rest of the video. Um, but that's okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right. Um, okay, so we're going to do the gold first. That's going to go on this eye with the reddish-brown shadow. Ooh, I think this is going to be really pretty. So what you can do is you can put it all over, over a color, or you can just like centralize it in the middle of your eyelid. Um, 
to give your eye kind of a highlight. So that's a really, really pretty. I'm just using my finger to kind of blend it out. That's really, really pretty. Um, you know, like I said, the lighting is not great for this, but we're making it work. So let me see. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. So that's the gold, Be So Gold. Um, and again, these are called Glare, liquid eyeshadows. And where did I just put the silver? Oh, there you are. Let's try this silver. I could see the silver being really pretty over um, like an icy blue eyeshadow. I have to be careful with blue eyeshadows because I have blue eyes. But I could see that being really, really pretty. Okay, I definitely like the silver more over the light eyeshadow color. It helps it pop just a little bit more. Um, again, I know it's hard to see on here because the lighting is crappy. Um, but that definitely looks a lot better for my personal preference. Again, I know not everybody is a big makeup user. Ooh, yeah, see, I like that. That's really pretty. Those both look absolutely gorgeous. This one over the dark, um, reddish brown color is giving me like massive fall vibes um and this one's definitely giving me like icy winter vibes so and i think for the sake of swatching lip colors later i'm going to take one of these off and make them match <laughs> really really quick i think i'm gonna do the gold on both sides Like I said, since I'm going to be swatching lip colors, these are definitely really sparkly. They're not just metallic. They actually do have, like, glittery flecks in them. So, uh, sorry, guys. Bear with me. Taking a little bit longer on this part than I intended, I know. I think once I have this eye on, I'm going to check again and see if this mask on my hand is dry to peel it off. Okay. And let's get our gold on. I really, I, if I had to pick a favorite out of the two, it's definitely the gold one, if you couldn't tell. I really like this one. But I also, like, when I'm picking colors and stuff for my makeup, I usually go to golds and browns, because I just think that's what looks best with my skin tone. So maybe I'm a little biased, but okay. So that's the Glare Liquid Eyeshadows. Brand new product this year. Um, so I like those. Like I said, I like the gold a little bit more, but that's just because I'm bougie and I like my makeup to really pop. Um, so that is those. And then the last thing I have to show you is all of these vials. Oh my goodness. Um, so there's seven different colors that I got. Um, two of them are part of the winter collection. One of them is part of the fall collection. Um, and Well, actually two of them are part of the fall collection. 
and the rest are part of core. So those will be around for a while. So, okay. Um, oh, which one should I start with? Um, let's see. I'm not going to swatch Amazing Space. Um, well, I'll on my arm. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to check and see if this mask was dry. <laughs> uh, I know I'm all over the place. Sorry, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. So this is Amazing Space. Really, really pretty metallic color. Actually, let me... Mm. I'm going to give the mask just another minute or two to dry. I think I put it on a little too thick. <laughs> so I'm just going to give that another minute to dry, and then I will try peeling it off. Um, but this is amazing space. I'm just going to swatch this one on my hand because I've already posted pictures of me wearing this. It's a beautiful metallic peachy pink. Gorgeous. I absolutely love that color. Um, so that is that one. And then the rest of these I'm going to swatch on my actual mouth for you. Um, so with the vials, these are longwear lip color. They're kind of a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a stain. Um, they're kind of like a whipped consistency when you take it out of the tube. So the first thing you do is you put the primer down. You have to put the primer down for the color to last as long as it's supposed to. So the primer is clear. You put some primer down. You don't have to put a lot on, just a really thin layer. And then just let it sit for a second and it's gonna be kind of tacky. Um, so once it's tacky, you can put the color on top and you don't feel the tackiness once the color's on. The color does dry down completely. Um, so let me get my little mirror back so I can see. There we go. All right, which color should I do first? I guess I should do some of the lighter colors before I do, well, they're all kind of dark actually. I'm gonna start with Pillow Fight. This one's one of the ones in the winter collection, so this one literally just came out. Um, and this one they refer to as the perfect nude. And the pictures I've seen of it are absolutely gorgeous, and I love a good pinky nude color. So I'm pretty excited to try this one. Ooh. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. That's what it looks like on the wand. Very, very pretty on the wand. My primer's tacky, and you want a thin layer. That is an absolutely gorgeous color. I think I have a new favorite. <laughs> um, that is absolutely beautiful. Um, it does have, from what I can see in this lighting, it does have a little bit of a pinky tone to it. Um, but I feel like this would be very flattering on a lot of different skin tones, which I love. So that is Pillow Fight. So like I said, that one's part of the winter collection. So this one is limited time. Um, but I'm definitely going to be getting a backup of that because that's really, really pretty. So um, let's see. I'll wipe over here. And then... Next one, I'm gonna try. I guess I'll go. I'll go ahead and do the other one from the winter collection. This one is called Marked Urgent. This one is a plum. 
And this one is a little out of my comfort zone. Um, so is, actually all of these are kind of out of my comfort zone. So I've got a burnt copper, I've got reds, I've got plums, I've got wine. And I usually shy away from dark colors because I'm very pale. <laughs> so, um, and I think for the rest of these, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the primer just because I'm gonna wipe it off right away. So you'll still get to see the color, but I don't wanna use up all my primer. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right on my mouth. Ooh, ooh, this one looks really pretty. Right. Um, like a very deep plum berry color. Oh, I'm kind of nervous for this one, you guys. I don't do dark colors often at all. All right. I also get nervous that I'm gonna like get it everywhere. Cause I am not very good at coloring in the lines. It's kind of messy on the bottom, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. So that is Mark's Urgent. That's a really, really pretty color. That's super messy. It's gonna bug me. That's a little bit better. I'm really not good at putting dark lipsticks on, you guys, so just bear with me. Hey, Wendy. Um, so, that's marked urgent. It's a really, really pretty plum color, um, like a plum berry. So if you like plum berry colors, this one's good for you. Um, and this one's also part of the winter collection, so this one's limited time, just like pillow fight. Let's hope the others I can put on not as messily. Definitely just wiped off like all my foundation around my mouth. Hold on one sec, you guys. One sec. BRB. I just wanted to grab my little, um, hey Jennifer, I want to grab my little uh, beauty blender. Because I just didn't want like berry colored marks all around my mouth. Okay, that's better. Uh, and then, right. Okay, four more. Um, next I'm gonna do Don't Be Cordial. So this one is part of the core collection. Ooh. This one's a really like bright, like cherry red. This one's gonna be pretty. So really, really bright, like cherry red. Um, it's almost like a pinky red. So not quite a true, true, like darker red. I really like that one, actually. I don't wear reds a lot either. 
I usually stick to like pinks and nudes for lipstick, so that's why I kind of wanted to get some of these colors that I wouldn't normally wear and get out of my comfort zone. So this is Don't Be Cordial. Let me take that one off and I can show you the next one. Okay. The people on YouTube who like review makeup and swatch like 18 different lipsticks in one video make this look so easy. It's not easy. <laughs> um, all right. Next is Truth or Dare. And I know the video has gone on for over an hour now. So I'm almost done, you guys, I promise. <laughs> um, thank you guys for sticking with me. I know this has been a long one. So Truth or Dare is like more of a true red. So I haven't worn a true red lipstick in a really long time. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh yeah, definitely a true red. So that is truth or dare. Again, I put that on kind of messy. These have all been kind of messy, so I just want to give you guys an idea of the colors. So excuse my messy, messy applications of these. I promise I actually know how to do lipstick. <laughs> um, but that's truth or dare. That's really pretty. I usually shy away from reds, but I really like this one. So this one and Don't Be Cordial were both really pretty. So yeah, that one's definitely more of a true red. So that is that one. I'm gonna have to get another makeup wipe going here. These Barrett All White are great. Ooh, whoops. Um, these Barrett All Wipes are great because one wipe can take off a ton of makeup. Ooh, that one definitely smeared. Hold on. That's better. I just needed a new wipe. Okay. Like all of my foundation around my mouth is gone right now. So if you see like a ring around my mouth, that's what that is. Okay. Two more shades. Next is Leave Me Alone. So this one's part of the fall collection. Um, this one is another one that was pretty out of my comfort zone because it's a burnt copper orange and I have orange hair and so oranges are always a little iffy for me. But the pictures I was seeing of this one were just so pretty and it's really glittery. It's got gold glitter in it um, and I just had to try this one. So this is what it looks like on the wand. Oh man, this is a very bright burnt orange color. Let's see how this goes. You know, I'm more of a fan of this now that I actually see it on me. Um, I was really scared of this one, not going to lie. But you can see the little gold flecks in it. Um, 
It's very sparkly, very glittery. Yeah, that looks a lot better now that it's actually on my mouth. I was really, really scared of this in the, in the tube, um, like just from the pictures I was seeing of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really, really like that. And I think with the right makeup on your eyes, this would be gorgeous. So that is Leave Me Alone. So that's in the fall collection. So this is another one that's limited time. So there's that one. Judy, if you're still watching... I would, you know, I was talking to you about this one. I was scared <laughs> and it looks really good. So nothing to worry about. Okay. All right. Last one, you guys. Last one. I know I've already been talking for almost an hour and a half. Okay, before I forget, <laughs> I actually forgot about this. Um, I'm going to try to peel this off now and see what happens. Ooh. Ooh hold on. Oh, that's so cool. That's really, really cool. So it did leave a little bit, but like I said, you can just use a washcloth or something and wash that right off. Oh, that's so neat. And that was definitely really gentle. Like, I didn't even feel it peeling off, really. Yay. I'm so excited to try that on my face. And I will definitely do a, a little video or something of me peeling it off my face. Because I feel like that's where the wow factor is. Okay. So, last vial is called Love the Wine You're With. This is the darkest one of all of them. Marked Urgent was pretty dark. That one was darker than I was anticipating. But this one, I'm pretty sure, is going to be even darker. So let's see what we got. So that's what that one looks like. And actually, let's compare. Whoop. So this one, sorry, uh, this one is Love the Wine You're With, and this one is Marked Urgent. So they're actually kind of similar. Love the Wine You're With is definitely more red, and this one's more like berry plum. So this is what it looks like on the wand. Ooh, I'm nervous about this one too, you guys. This is way darker than I normally go for for lip color, but we're going to try it. Oh, I already smudged it on the bottom. Already smudged it. Smudged it all over. That one's super messy application. <laughs> but that's not the product's fault. That's my fault. That's not what I'm trying to say. Um, but that's Love the Wine You're With. It's really, really pretty. I just need to work on the application of dark colors because I'm not used to putting dark lipsticks on myself. So I'm used to light lipsticks where I have a little more wiggle room <laughs> if I mess up because it doesn't show up as much. So um, yeah, that's Love the Wine You're With. I like it. I think out of all of them, my favorite is definitely Pillow Fight. And then I love Amazing Space too, but I already had that one. Um, and I really, really like Truth or Dare, the True Red. I think that was my next favorite. So definitely going to be wearing those. So, and now I've got more colors that I can switch out. 
So, because before I only had two colors, because I had Amazing Space, and I also had one called Stop Blushing, which is a rosy pink. So, like, my typical lipstick color. Um, but anyways, that is all of the new products. That's all the stuff I got. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, just let me know. Um, I do have, there is another product that Posh just announced this month um, and I'm going to do more research on it before I say anything about it um, so keep your eyes posted for that um, it's a really exciting new product I just don't want to spread false information about it um, so I'm not gonna say anything about it just yet I know a lot of consultants have already shared about it with people and that's fine I'm just personally choosing to wait because I want to be more informed so keep your eyes posted for info about that um, let's see what else before I let you go um, core products are 20% off through Sunday um, so anything that's not part of the seasonal line um, starter kits are 15% off, so instead of being $99, they're $84 through Sunday. Um, and you can just join for the great deal and the personal discount. Like, you don't have to sell if you join. You know, I'm not going to try to, like, pressure you into that. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, we call it kit napping. Um, you just grab the kit and you take your personal discount and that's it. Um, so yeah, that is all I got for you guys um, I know this is a long video I kind of expected it to be a little longer so I appreciate those of you who stuck around to the end um, if you're watching the replay um, let me know if you have any questions or anything um, you know thanks for sticking with me through my really awkward messy lipstick applications <laughs> um, it was way harder to do that out here than I thought as opposed to like in my bathroom where I can really look at it but um anyways so like I said thank you guys so much for watching I had a lot of fun doing this awkward or not <laughs> um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend um, if you have any questions let me know um, and I will be posting more info about the new product coming out very soon um, and I love you guys so much Bye, you guys.